Africa, hi Zambia, hi world, hi Algeria, hi North Cyprus, hi to everyone who's watching us today for this special segment of Jesus Life Africa. A wonderful segment as we are coming to the close of, of our season one of Jesus Life. And this is not only Jesus Life Africa, but for all Jesus Life. And Jesus Life wants to share with you some of the things that we have done, that we have been doing, unless uh, uh, perhaps you were joining us a little bit late or uh, you didn't watch the first shows, what they were all about and all that. We just want to give you a recap. So tomorrow we're having a very special segment on Jesus Life in general, what we've been doing, what it's all about. For those people who just joined us, for those people, uh, maybe I, th I think perhaps you might have some people who are seeing this thing for the very first time. So we're going to give you a recap tomorrow. And also, Jesus Live would want to show, share with you and talk about the things that we expect in season two. So Jesus Live Africa this evening, I don't know, it might be morning in your country or it might be afternoon, I don't know. But Jesus Live Africa at this moment in time wants to present to you this special segment as we are closing uh, down uh, our, our first season and moving to our season two of jesus live not jesus live only but jesus live africa so right now i've got uh my friends of course as usual wonderful people joining me on this wonderful segment of jesus live africa isaac how are you bro i'm all right brother how are you happy I'm hello Nani Bonani, Makalini. hello hello jesus live africa how jesus is live everybody africa. <laughs> Africa for Jesus, How are you, Jesus for Africa. Ah, it's great. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Praise the Lord. Uh, I've had a productive week, and uh, I just couldn't wait to 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 just have this wonderful show with our friends, our viewers who've been following us uh, on this uh, uh, special segment of Jesus Life, which is Jesus Life Africa. So everyone is welcome, and uh, I just can't wait to see what we can uh, talk about today as uh, we are joined by a great number of people, not only in Africa, but also uh, all, around, uh, all around the world. So uh, as, as we start, uh, we have also one of our friends who will be joining us. But as we get to the discussion of today, I would ask uh, Isaac to start with us in a word of prayer. OK, our eyes closed and our, eyes, and our heads bowed. Our Heavenly Father, we come before you thanking you this very hour, thanking you for this moment that you've given us to to talk about your word, to talk about your business, Lord, I pray that you bless each and every single individual who's watching the stream, Lord, I pray, thanking you for the opportunity that you've given us as we round up season one, Lord, we are thankful and we're grateful that you gave us this opportunity to, to, to accomplish all of these things, Lord, I pray, asking that you guide us as we move on into the next season, Lord, I pray that you will not withhold any blessings from us in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, who is coming so, so soon. Amen. 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 And uh, this, in this special segment, we are talking about Jesus Life Africa. But I think it's it's important we, 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 we try and check out our roads, you know, like where did it all start, the Jesus Life Africa. But it's important to know that it came from Jesus Life. All right. It's not a separate entity. It's part of Jesus' life, but we concentrate and look at some specific things that we are going to talk about in today's segment or what we've been talking about all this time. So, for example, I think the very first thing, I think people would want to know, like, why is it that uh, there's Isaac, there's Happy, there's Dalio, there's Caroline, okay, there's Opere and all these other people. Like, uh, the, the, first, the very first thing that we people, I think, would be wondering is, why are we really part of this uh, group called uh, Jesus Life in general? So I don't know, Yamika, maybe you can share your own experience, why you are part of this group, how it all started for you. Then also I can share my, my, my thoughts on this one as people get to know uh, more and revise what we've been uh, doing as Jesus Life Africa. Uh, 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 good evening once again, everyone. Uh, I think it starts, is it, I don't want to really dwell on Jesus' life, the whole thing, really, because I think we're going to do this tomorrow, partly. But then, in specifics, in terms of Africa, I think, first of all, it started with being part of Jesus' life. Jesus' life is a, is a digital missionary movement that is 
um, that is that is aiming to spread the whole message to the whole world digitally. Uh, as we've seen that we're part of a pandemic right now, and it has really opened up a, um, a situation and opportunity for the word to be spread. That means that there, there's a need of people to do so, and Jesus Life has provided that, and we are willingly uh, available and availing ourselves to preach the word and to spread it out, out there. So that's pretty much basically on Jesus Life. Now, Jesus Life consists of so many people. You know, it's it's a like a, it's a movement that is full of the world also has a continent called africa some people think africa is a country it's a whole continent and yeah, yeah. that hence becomes some of us who come from the actual continent um currently currently i know that happy and operi are in africa and um and, and and carol are in africa i'm not currently in africa but i'm african um, i'm an african 2.0 i'm born in a different country and my heritage is from another country and so forth it's 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 complicated but it's great it cements how african yeah. i am so yeah we are representing africa and I, I do believe that africa also deserves to um also to be covered you know there's so many things that are happening in africa uh and that's where we have this theme that we're running with if africa is a mission sending field is it is it a still a mission sending field or send of missionaries and so forth which was a very interesting initiative for season one i can't wait for season two but i've been blessed for season one because i personally i wasn't even thinking of such a question you know like i never thought myself as, as a missionary in that regard you know i used to be a person who I was like oh, okay you know what um i'm blessed you know I'm, i was born in the church so you know what it is let me just yeah. take this jesus for myself but i got to see myself um part of this movement in terms of when i moved from when I moved from Africa and coming um, to North Cyprus, I realized that there's so many people who actually do not know the word. So um, I was removed from that area of comfortability into another area. And this is where I am right now. If you asked me 10 years ago, I would have said no. I, I will leave it to the pastors, you know, because that's their yeah. job. You know, I would have been that person. But but now I'm even like thinking like, you know, I don't know how many times we like I'm, I've I've my week, when I when I look at my week, I'm just like, oh, Jesus life, Jesus life, Jesus life. And, yeah. and when I know that Wednesday is Jesus life for Africa, I even get excited because this is home. Yeah. And there's no yeah. place like home. You know how it is. Yeah. So, yeah, that's typically all about Jesus life. The fact that we were from different countries and then we identify, some of us we identify as Africans already. So that's a nice opportunity to put Africa on a map because we've been yeah. there for bad reasons most of the time. So yeah. we just want to show them, like, now Africa is, is more to offer. Back to you. Yeah. And, and, and it has, personally, it has, it has really helped me uh, big time because um, uh, me, I think even most people, when you check my, 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 my Facebook, for example, you check, for example, my, I don't know, I have it in Spanish. I don't know. What do you call that one? Uh, my timeline, I think. Is it a timeline? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. timeline is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have everything is fine. So, like, getting it back to to to, to English, it's a little bit complicated. All right, wow. yeah, because I can just do a direct translation. I find it's not actually it; it's just something else. All right, yeah, all right. <laughs> for example, when you check my timeline, my timeline did have uh, many of uh, such things. Like, for example, you share a broadcast, you share what, you share. It wasn't even sharing so much. Maybe I'll just share mostly like some Bible texts, some good quotations, and all that and sharing with other people and once in a while made my photos but i wasn't really sharing much because I, I i i used to identify myself as a person who's not much into the the digital mm -hmm. world yeah mm -hmm. and uh when i was invited to be part of jesus life first i, I started with the public campus ministries yeah, then from there out, yeah, yeah 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 due to the pandemic and all that there was an opportunity that we can we can be part of mm -hmm this uh this movement in sharing our personal testimonies and we shared it and it was it was really really uh helpful and it was really a blessing then eventually we we had uh also uh, like an opportunity to be called to be part of uh, this group or called uh, jesus life okay as uh, as as young people and uh you know when you're a person who thought like digital things are not my things all right 
For example, if anything goes wrong with my phone, I need to take to my friend, I need to take to my neighbor. If something goes like anything that is digital, I, I, I've got no idea. I, 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 internet right now. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, because even like how to work out the internet thing, like just to have a stable connection, you need to go through that to try out that. I wasn't that like it was really, really something different for me. But uh, I have actually grown like in a certain aspect in my Christian life through this movement, which is Jesus Life. Because I never really thought that even something that is media or digital, one day, I will be a part of that movement and feel so comfortable, feel so blessed. Always think about it that this week I have this wonderful episode, this uh, wonderful program that I'm going to be online and uh, talking to my friends who will be sharing their testimonies that's going to inspire myself, but also inspire people out there. And I've seen how much Jesus' life has also touched a lot of people. And a lot of people have been following this movement especially now as we were looking at different programs and all that. And Jesus Life, the whole team were putting in programs and we were getting involved here and there. Then there was this brilliant idea that came about, which was talking about Jesus Life, uh, like Jesus Life, yes, but there's something, because we're talking about a group of young people, digital missionaries who want to share the love of God with the world, but also to encourage people in the faith, all right, to reconnect believers and all these other things. And the idea came about and said, what about Africa? Why can't we try out Africa? And I was like, Africa, all right. Uh, after thinking about it, there was one question. Now, uh, this was uh, asked by one pastor who said, is Africa a mission field or a missionary sending continent? And the pastor asked this question one moment in time when he traveled to this part of the world. And he gave an answer. He said, no, I've been to different parts of Africa. And Africa, I've discovered, is not a mission field. Like it is in desperate need of missionaries. But Africa has got the potential of sending missionaries. Then I was like, he's right. <laughs> he's right. Because the majority of people who are doing a great work in different parts of the world, they're Africans. And the way the church has been growing in Africa, it has been growing at a very, very uh, 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 rapid rate, you see? And I was like, I think we can share what Africa is doing right now. And I think it will encourage a lot of people out there who are doing missionary work that they are not alone. And there's actually a group of young people, a group of people, uh, members of the church to whom they can reach out and call upon and say, we need more manpower this side. And we say, this is a great blessing that the Lord has, has given us to even encourage people who are working in missionary work. And this is done through something that I never imagined that I would ever speak about, something that I never imagined, like, I'm not blessed in this one. You know, it'd be like, just like a Moses, you know, you'd be like, uh, you say like, Lord, me, I know nothing about these digital things and everything. These things are for some other people, maybe Tico or something. These are the guys who are for this. These are for people who know things like journalism or something like that. Me, I cannot talk in public. And, but the Lord had this own plan. And the plan that the Lord had was that through this wonderful movement, we uh, we would not even, we didn't uh, like think about something like this. God might use us and be part of it. And myself, I've counted it a blessing because it has really, really uh, impacted my life. And I've seen how my Christianity is growing. Uh, day by day through this wonderful movement. So Jesus' life, it means a great deal for me. It doesn't just uh, mean family because Jesus' life is all about family. Uh, this is a family, a group of people who love the Lord, who are willing to give themselves to the Lord, who have this deep desire to save Jesus. And uh, it's, it's it goes uh, beyond that. It is also there to look out uh, like in our Christian life, our walk with God to encourage us through different means but also it is focused on mission. And this mission is there that the love of God should be shared with the people out there. And there's no greater, there's no greater joy, no greater privilege that can ever be accorded to anyone uh, other than uh, being part of uh, a group of young people, a group of people who are willing to share the love of God with the world to inspire hope in people. And that is a great thing for me, being part of Jesus Life and specifically Jesus Life Africa, where we are able to encourage other people who are serving the Lord, that seriously the Lord has got an army 
that is that can be put at work. Africa is a big continent, has got a good number of uh, of people who are us to work for the Lord. But some of them, perhaps, they don't know much about uh, the global mission. Then others, maybe they think mission is just here. But I think we can we can go beyond. So Jesus Hive is really really great, and uh, Jesus Hive Africa has been a blessing to to both of us. So we we we, we kicked on with Jesus Hive, and uh, we we thought. To, at first, we had some struggles. Do you remember, I mean, can we had some struggles, some connection stuff, and uh, we, we had a lot of struggles when we started. And uh, it, it is only depending upon God that we could have even reached this point. Have, have been, you seen, I don't know, uh, Yamikan, have you seen that there's a difference when we started and how things have been going of late? Can't you see the, 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 the Lord leading us in that way? Okay, uh, I, th I think basically when I look at it, right, like I think our very, like our very first episode, uh, you know, behind the scenes, most of the time when you see something um, in front of the scene, it's all perfect and stuff. But the thing is, like, we were getting used to the fact that, like, um, I'm I'm a digital person, but then the, the occasion, like, just being, like, having every single time to constantly being on on social media, for me, it was something that was big, you know, especially being live. I'm used to recording. And then when you're recording stuff, you record it so many times and then you, and then you perfect it and then you put it out there. You got know I me. Mean? Yeah. And now I'm getting a point where I have to be live most of the time and stuff. And, and live needs, like, live needs um, uh, time. First of all, mm -hmm. it needs um, internet connection as, as, as you're going to share how you're connecting your, how you're connecting your internet right now. Cause I think it's inspiring for people who like the effort and the, the commitment that you put into that to me it's it's, yeah. it's touching right man i'm like oh my goodness but this guy say he doesn't know he doesn't really he's not into digital media and all of these things but he, he found a way so i think from where we where we were coming from and where we're going right now i think uh also in africa um most of us were not used i'm, I'm not sure like because i've left in a while but most people i'm seeing that people are now using social media Social media yeah, is not yeah. really that of a bigger deal in Africa. It's seen as social media. You know, it's like yeah. a part where you're socializing. But now, yeah. because of the pandemic, you know, everybody's coming to social media and so mm. forth. And even even back home, I'm seeing um, churches are doing lives and all of these things. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's not interesting. And, and and for me, that's a blessing, you know, like that's a blessing. Yeah. Seeing the, the moment of evolving and, and, and yeah. so forth and so forth. But yeah. then I, I, I literally had forgotten something about about Jesus' life impact in, in especially Jesus' life Africa. I think yeah. for me, for me, why Jesus Africa um, is the one at, the, at this particular point is the fact that um, when maybe for me because I've left for a while, it's like uh, it's reminded me of of home mm. and also meeting up with all of you guys who are doing great things in Africa. It, it it pushed me to a point where I realized that you know, um, God's things that the people who are out there. You know, when God said he is gonna have the whole world spread around the whole world, he meant it, and and the people have availed themselves. And for me, it's, it's it's incredible. We're so ambitious. If you if you ask anyone out there, they're thinking about maybe they wanna have a million dollars in their account. And nobody's talking about I wanna spread the whole world to the whole world. But you find people who are willing to do that, and then for me, that's yeah. that's beyond, and that's beyond, that's beyond. I'm like, wow. So yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, I, I, the thing is, uh, when we look at the, the beginnings of, to be specific, Jesus Life Africa, Jesus Life also had a humble beginning, but also even Jesus Life Africa, we had problems, struggles at first. But you know, the way we've been seeing how the Lord has been leading this 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 uh, movement until now. You're able to see this is a God-led movement, a spirit-led movement. And uh, and the other thing is, it's it's not really a blessing just for us who are participating, but it's, it, I believe it's a blessing to others as well. As you had put it, for example, in Africa, social media is used, but it's just some, like, you socialize, you get entertained and everything. So you may find there are a lot of people who have the potential, but the problem is there's no good material on social media that people can look at and be encouraged and from there they find a purpose in their lives, especially the young people, because the majority of people who use it, they're actually the young people. So in this case, I see Jesus life like it gives that platform not for for just sharing with others uh what the Lord is doing in Africa or other parts of the world, but also for 
to give good content on social media. So when someone goes on Facebook, they check out, someone goes on uh, on Instagram, someone goes on TikTok and everything. You go and check out, you want to have fun, but also there's good material there. And that good material, Jesus Life has been uh, blessed to be part of this movement that is actually trying to bring this love of God to others. So at first we really had some struggles and all that, but looking at the way the Lord has led us until now, even the testimonies you are going to hear tomorrow on Jesus Life in general, when all of us will be there. It's the same testimony that we're going to give you today, saying that the Lord has been leading this group. Like you're able to see, like uh, the Lord is fighting all our battles. The Lord is leading us because He knows that this group can do great things, and the Lord has really uh, been been helping us and encouraging us. And here we are right now, uh, trying to share with you what we've been working on in season one. So, looking at season one now, let's just have a review on season one because this is the major uh, purpose why we are here. A review on season one. Yami, do you remember some of the highlights that uh, you got from season one that we can review as I also share my ideas on this one? Um, I think the first one you've shared it first because I, I was wondering how we came up with the with the theme is Africa mission field or a mission sending, a missionary sending um, field. And for me, I, 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 I'm not really like, really like thought about how we came up with that but then you explained how how you got there for me that was like powerful already because that got me thinking basically when I, when I was thinking for myself i'm like okay um seriously most of the time we always think about africa as a needy part as a needy continent but if you look at it like man if you see africans in low cyber the way what they're doing right now in terms of christianity you'll be shocked you know you, you've been impressed you know like most of the time and for me so i think i think if i remember very well um we had a i think we had a get i think the one that really like i don't want to i don't want to categorize them and whatsoever but the one that i still yeah. really really remember of course it would be ngosa because ngosa has ngosa had so many things you know had you mind but for me what, what what really moved me was um was um was a private he's a private yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah i think for for me for me uh, that episode was was quite something else, you know. Like yeah. for me, that episode was 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 deep, and I, I and I've not seen like I don't know know like so many things are how how someone's ministry, how someone's ministry life could 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 unravel, and how um, a group of friends could meet, and you know all of these things, and and encourage yeah. each other, and you know and um, invite each other to spread the word. For me, that. For me, I was touched, you know, like, yeah. I remember that very, that episode very well, like, hmm. Yeah. Which episode touched uh, you? I, I, I think that was actually our, should have been our second episode, because our first episode, we are trying to look at the fact that, uh, where, why are we talking about this theme, okay? Talking about missionary, mission field, what do we mean and all that. And why are we talking about this thing? Then the first episode that we had, we had Ngosa, okay who's running a very good uh uh music uh, ministry a very good music uh ministry. you can check it out on youtube it's there on on facebook as well it's called ngosa music and it's got very good content especially that one which really relates to the young people okay because as he has said there's some humor in it and all these other things it relates to the young people but i, I was actually privileged uh some some days back and actually today even uploaded the, the final mm -hmm. video for the singing. Yeah, I was privileged to be part of the team. Actually, he has a segment where I'm happy Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, today I've been what today I, uploaded, I sang, yeah, I sang. I'm right. So you can check it out. Yeah. Right. Right. yeah. But it's really great. He, he does a, a part for for uh, sharing, which he gives some insights, he invites some people, discuss something. Then also his messages, also in music, they are very important. He writes his own music, he does covers. Then also he gets, for example, the Psalms. For example, the other one, he got a Psalm and he says, imagine the, 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 the King David singing it in Bemba. And Bemba, it's his mother tongue. So he gets a, a Psalm that is in English, he takes it to Bemba, then he sings it. It's a very good thing. But what touched us mostly is how he came to that, uh, uh, to that, to that, uh, to that whole thing of doing music for God. Because from where I was, it's not. So if you missed that segment, just called Jesus Type Africa, 
then you can go and check out where we invited Ngosa. Other than Ngosa, we had Kriva that day, who is our friend. He wasn't an Adventist, eventually got baptized, and he's running a very good program because for them, it was like, I mean, like, I realized that there's less material for the Francophone world, all right? And yeah, and it's very much true. It's very much true. For example, if you are looking at offering things or something like that, for example, stewardship, you go and check for the materials, uh, you discover that maybe in English, you have them, like, they're all over. You go, for example, in Spanish, you find them, like, it's all over. Then you come to Portuguese, it's all over. Then you come to the Francophone world, you have some issues here and there and everything. So he said, like, no, I realized we do not have... Uh, enough material and he said uh with a group of young people who are also part of uh, this uh, uh wonderful movement that is called now generation de lumière which is a generation of light they do a good series like the last one that they were doing it was on health the other one they were doing on the plan of redemption and i think they've also continued some other aspects on the plan of redemption of which they are very good series and and yeah these these young people it really 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 touched me so uh that was actually for me i i had them like in i cannot point out this particular one because in each segment i was learning something for all invited guests and that was the sole purpose of our program so that we're able to cite and see what is really going on in other places so that was very a, a very a, a insightful program that we had which had music which is be the music and be the light Gen generation de lumière which is generation of light was telling you be the light because our music was telling you be the music and we are showing how we can be the light in africa as an african and how we can also be the music as an african in africa to share the love of god with with others so it was a very very exciting uh program that we had very very inter uh, interesting insightful the next one that we had if you remember Yamikan, we were trying to talk about uh the great commission yes 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 okay that one, I, I, I for me, it actually, for me, actually, like it touched me because I was like, you know, most of the time, like when I don't know, maybe because sometimes you speak from, I speak from a point of privilege where I'm like, ah, I've read that Great Commission first so many times, like go ye therefore, like it's something that is, it becomes a routine. But I think on that episode for me, yeah, um, it was interesting because because you hit you hit us with statistics, you know, and because numbers, mm. probably numbers don't lie, so. When, when we started realizing yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we started realizing how much work we were supposed to do um as, as yeah. young individuals and the percentage of, of christianity in, in some parts of the world you know well, I, yeah. sometimes I'm, I'm uh, sometimes i'm tempted to think ah is there anyone who doesn't know jesus like for real like are you being for real right now like someone doesn't know but i've yeah. I've, I've realized that some people don't actually know you know like especially from like learning in a in an islamic nation now where you get yeah. genuine questions where people actually like ask you this and that and that so I've, yeah. I've i've escaped from that mindset because yeah because i because of being in africa too long you're like ah yeah because the word has been spread in africa but for me that yeah. episode you know you, you you brought you broke down the great commission and i realized how much short i am and how much i'm never relaxed how much i should push so for me, that was a very educative mm. um, episode, and uh, I, I was left gassed and shocked that there's so much work. Yeah. Not because, like, not being yeah. tired of, of the work, but so also realizing that you need to you need to depend on God because most of the time you're like, ah, okay, but yeah. we can do this and that. Yeah. Then I realized that we need God to finish this work. So for me, that episode was yeah. was interesting, man. You, you know, Brother, I, when when I, I, I we were discussing the whole uh, uh, the the whole data that was given and uh, how Christianity has been moving in parts of the world, you know, I, 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 I it touched me as well because I remember there's a friend of mine who say a friend of mine who says, uh, if happy you are in Brazil, you are working in Brazil, part of the church and everything, you think Jesus is coming tomorrow or that very day. <laughs> you think he's coming that very day okay because of how the work has been going then you come in africa as well in africa like it's 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 a similar thing for example when you see what was happening in rwanda something we're going to talk about zimbabwe you know these other countries you when you're participating you think jesus is coming tomorrow 
on next week because we are almost done with the work okay then when you are hit with reality <laughs> you are hit with reality in terms of how far the gospel has gone you'll be now concerned okay now you won't be concerned as you said not because you're tired of the work. you won't be concerned like ah so it means jesus is going to take longer no no no, no. it's not that that thing that's gonna hit you what's gonna hit you is if jesus comes today how many people would be left out that's the question that's going to hit you. you see yeah that's the question that's gonna hit you and you'd want to work as much as possible for the lord by his grace and his power because it's not by power not by mighty but by the spirit of god you pray that god may reach out to those areas and from that time onward i i really realized like when you are just in africa thinking about africa and you do not think about the global mission you think all is done but there is great work to be done out there so if you and i will have this loving desire for for souls and all that like that power, that desire and love for soul like paul we are going to move until the uttermost parts of the world it's not only in africa so we're trying to bring across this whole idea that Africa should now start thinking global, okay? Mm -hmm. So we do a great job, where we are, but also we move where we move global. And 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 this was what it was trying to, to tell us that time. And me personally, I was touched and I was saying, Lord, like this, this work and everything. And I remember I shared the same thing with a friend who were discussing, and the question that came about like, but some of us would not have means to go there. I said, you know, at times, Praying for global mission is also important. Praying for global mission is also important. So, for example, those our friends who are in Africa, they've not traveled to some parts of the world where there's great work and everything. Please, you should also pray for those places, but also give yourself that when the Lord opens the doors, you may be able to participate in this global mission. And I think that was very, very interesting. Whereby you even find statistics whereby in some areas it's about 0.302% of christianity including foreigners okay so if you remove foreigners meaning you add more zeros okay if you mm. exclude foreigners you need to add more zeros of which it's, it's really really worrisome and for that we're trying it wasn't just to make you feel sad and everything but it was to remind each one of us especially people in africa and around the world of course that there is a great work to be done then from there i i, I was really impacted and we said ah but we're saying there's great work to be done but africa what's going on then I, I remember we even had an opportunity to feature Rwanda. And uh, what was your take on the stories that we had from Rwanda? Yeah, uh, I, I, I have personally I have a soft spot for Rwanda because I think Rwanda is the best African country at the moment, not saying that Zambia and Zimbabwe are not. But I, yeah. for, me, for me, why Rwanda takes it most is because of, uh, it's their living proof of forgiveness and reconciliation. After what happened to Rwanda and them reconciling and forgiving each other and moving forward for the development of a country, for me, that point for me takes it all. And then now also to find out that that Christianity is actually moving and um, Adventism is, is it has a significant role in in, in Rwanda yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. For me, for me, topped everything because I'm thinking. Because one of these days I really want to go to run. So I'm thinking, yo, this is really, really good. And mm -hmm. and 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 also the fact that the, the guest also like um sharing the experiences of what, what went on and so forth and yeah. how it strengthens their um yeah. their their spiritual life for me. For me it was it was good, man. It was good. I was touched, yeah. you know, I'm like I'm always I'm always touched because when it's it's an individual who's young as me, because most of the time we have so many excuses, this and that. But when we see young individuals going out there and doing good things, and I'm I'm proud, you know. Yeah. How did you How did you see Rwanda also? Rwanda, I, it was very interesting for the fact that uh, Rwanda, it's 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 it's, it's, it, it's Adventism is something that is really recognized in Rwanda. I was so so impressed because that's that's one thing that i didn't really get at first i knew there was a great work that was being done because whenever maybe go on youtube or something like that look at adventism in africa especially in rwanda it's been doing very well okay in terms of for example total membership involvement tmi 
which is a massive mega effort and a lot of people being reached out every member is participating and everything be like wow what a great day it is pentecost <laughs> all right but i i knew about all these other things you know saying rwanda yeah but one thing i didn't know is if rwanda is really recognized like really recognized now the 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 the, the shock was how it was recognized and my friend was trying to explain like there are some programs that are held of which for example it's a, a community thing and all that which is supposed to be done like every sunday uh, every saturday and all that they say like adventists have been given a time to do it on a sunday so the church says we are not going to do it on saturday but they don't say we're not going to do it on saturday saturday is for resting what what and they fought there and they said no no, no uh, we cannot do it on saturday but we are part of this country we are africans we are from rwanda this is our home and we have got a duty to our community we've got a duty to our country and all that they said we are going to do it on a sunday and they do that now people start asking questions like how come people are doing it on sunday so something that at first looked like it was a a a, 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 a difficult thing or something that was more like a stamping block before them but it was actually an opportunity that was there for them to share even more about what adventists believe in and people have been realizing these people are really different and that was very impressive and we are taught about uh how uh, rwanda is faring and all these other things of which really really touched me and my friend also explained how he himself participated in these uh, events and uh, what was so fortunate that this friend of ours who was part of our team he has been to different countries and he has tried to compare and the question that we asked like, is it a mission field a mission ascending country he said i've been to countries i've seen some countries who actually need more of this and he says when i compare rwanda with those other places i think rwanda can try and share with other thing with the people out there i think it was really really impressive and it was really really uh, lovely it really really touched my heart it really touched my heart and yeah. there's, there's, there's a statement that says that i'm if i don't know if i'm remembering it very well the statement that says that it's not all the time when you travel you get to appreciate um where you are but sometimes you get to appreciate home and, oh, then, yeah. and then our, and our guest also, like, he's been in different countries. And, and I, I believe he's in France now. Right, right now. And then he's been in Algeria and everything. And that is a certain level of comparison to mm. what happened in Rwanda and so forth. And he understands and he he doesn't just speak from privilege, but he's seen yes. it, it all. He has seen the differences from home. He's seen the differences yeah. when he was in Algeria. And now yeah. he has a very full um, view in terms of, of what has been done. So for me yeah. as well, like the fact that I've I've moved and I've traveled, it for me, it just reminded me of how much God um has done. And I believe you as well, like even yeah. still in Africa, but then the fact that you had moved as well, because sometimes you get into a bubble, like I said, you go to mm -hmm. a powerful camp meeting, you think Jesus is coming yeah. soon, you become very yeah. selfish, you just become yeah. you just becoming this person who thinks about themselves and everything. But yeah uh, the movement that we have done and uh, for me i think it's essential and i believe god has god is in it you know that we move around and so forth so yeah. that was that was an interesting one and that was an interesting yeah. one yeah and i think it really really helped and then yeah. the next episode becomes the one from my home country zimbabwe that was like yeah. the, the 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 last one before the last one, and this yeah. one. yeah and I, I wouldn't talk much about zim but because that's 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 my birth country but yeah. also so much stuff has been done you know even yeah. even you know like i live i live the other side of zim he lives the other side but the mm. good thing is we'll still meet in between and yeah, we've done so much we've done so much and it's quite harsh the the pandemic is quite harsh on zimbabwe because we were so active physically man like yeah i think within maybe a month we would have done maybe at least one crusade you know we had we yeah. were those people who were like so active and everything yeah. and and now i'm wondering what things are going on and i was wondering if things are very well going and um zui he he, he reaffirmed that zim is still yeah. there and yeah and, 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 and everything how did you find zimbabwe you, you know that that was really a very interesting thing you know what shocked us was uh, the fact that he said like you know you get so much involved in the work to a point where but you your life has you know he was actually saying that you think like you know you want to study for example i am an engineer for example 
you think like going to study engineering, you even wonder like, why am I even going to study engineering? Why can't I just study something that is mission related? That was what he was saying. He was like, you think like, actually, I'm not even supposed to do these other things. Said like, you know, you reach a point whereby you go into the field, far, far away villages. Then you stay there for two months, not visiting home, just staying there doing the work of the Lord. And this shows the commitment of the young people that we have and also uh, other people in terms of in the leaders of the church and also the members of the church, how committed they are when it comes to mission. How can you leave your home for two good months without visiting your family just doing the work of the Lord? And then my friend was like, yeah, they had to come and say, uh, you need a balance in life. Come and visit us, just even if it means for us. <laughs> and all that, it was really, really interesting. Yeah, it was really, really interesting. And from that, I was seeing like, what kind of commitment is this? That cannot be something that we can come from without, from, from within. All right? But it's something that comes from God alone. Because it says, for it is God. That is what Philippians tells us. For it is God who maketh us to will and to do his good pleasure. For you to have such kind of a thing, it means really God is there. And is the one who's putting that in you so that you may serve the Lord. So you cannot say like God is only using people from America Latina. That's not possible. You cannot say God is only using people in Asia. That's not possible. You cannot say God is only using or God wants to use people in Europe. That's not possible. God, for him to impart his Holy Spirit upon his people in Africa, it really means a big deal. Okay, it changes everything. It simply means we are working as one, united in truth, united in love. And because of that, I was able to see like, uh, I think we really have to think about it and continue contemplating on this question. Is Africa really a, a mission field? or Africa has the potential. And each country has had this opportunity to share different aspects of it. And that was really powerful from Suake was with us that time. And also him is no longer in, 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 in Zimbabwe, he has left, but still is doing a great work for God. So in all these things, the, the question that was standing, and I think we can try to, to, to close with, uh, with this part. No, before we close with that part. Uh, I would ask uh, maybe Yamikan, do you have an idea of some some things that we can we can try to uh, to maybe something that we can bring in like for 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 example for Jesus life for example I don't know some programs in uh, in in season in two. our season two yeah um, first firstly I'm quite excited I'm quite excited about season two because um, we have more. I think we have more we have more Africans who are joining in, you know. Like we have more Africans who are joining in, so that means we're gonna have more brilliant faces and new people coming in as well. So that's 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 a good thing, you know. And and for me, I think I think what we could do, like most of the time, obviously, as 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 Africans, we love music, and I think we would we definitely do feature music. And uh, maybe once in a while, maybe I might do spoken word, you know, I might do poetry once oh, in a while. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah once, in a while, I mean, <laughs> once in a while, I might do poetry and, and, and yeah. story time and all of these things. That I think it will be interesting um, to to also um, show much of our culture as well, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How much of our yeah. culture and it's just cold now. I'm not wearing my African <laughs> so forth. Yeah, it's becoming cold this part of the world. Yeah, so... I think we're going to feature music. We're going to feature more f new faces, I, I believe, because we have new people joining in. And um, we're going to have new interesting topics. You know, like I, I'm, I can't imagine what topic are we going to theme, what we're going to come up with, because this theme was so good. You know, I was thinking, wow, yeah. Yeah. it was a very definite thing. You know, so yeah. I don't know. What do you think we should do? Like, what do you think was going to happen? You know, I, I think today it would have been a great start to just have one of our friends, maybe. I think one of them we should we are going to have maybe a small segment where we can have from time to time maybe once a month or something like that we just have a special moment maybe we feature one of our musicians because the thing is when it comes to outreach program you do not have to be a pastor you don't have to be a yeah. theologian but you've got give different gifts so for example we had the other time we featured in music he was in music this other one was a preacher he was mm -hmm. in this preaching movement 
but all of them are reaching out to people. For example, maybe let's say we feature some of our friends who have had to do some parts like a song or something like that, to be just blessed, maybe in African language or in English or anything, but something that's really interesting. So we can consider that we have poetry, we have, uh, uh, we really have different gifts. We have different gifts. Maybe even me, I can come up with some ideas. Who knows? Maybe I've got a hidden talent somewhere. There. Jesus you Christ, really? about you are there, then you even, yeah, I think I'll do. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll talk to my, I'll talk to the management for Gosa Music so that, yeah, they put us, I think, on all of these shows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, we might have some, some, some talent, some gifts, and we can always use them. So, Jesus Life, the good thing about Jesus Life is this also, is that at first we only had one show, but we've got different shows almost every day throughout the week. Okay? Simply because uh, Jesus Life realizes like we have different gifts. And since we have different gifts, and, and that also it's a quote to everyone that you also have a gift, I also have a gift. So the gifts that God has used us, we want to bring them also in Africa because Africa is like, gifted with different gifts and a lot of gifts. So the Lord, the gifts that he has imparted, we can use them to his glory through this digital missionary. So, yeah. So I can see Ngosa Music has taken note of that one. All right. So it is noted. So think about it. So wait one time we'll have Ngosa Music with us featuring, I don't know, I cannot promise on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's that's that. It's, it's, we, we are really thinking of a lot of programs and a lot of events. And uh, the question still remains because we've covered some countries but also there are more com countries to be covered. For example, uh, Mozambique, for example, they are ready also to share something with us. So we might see some new faces, even some different hosts, yeah, different ones. Others may not even be from Africa and all that. So even some language at times may change here and there because we are gifted differently. Africa's got different culture, there are different languages and different traditions and all that. I think you are going to really like season two uh, as, as, as as we bring about all these other ideas that we've been developing uh, by the grace and the message of God. Otherwise, I think season one has been really good, really impactful and really nice. And we believe season two is gonna be as much. And we just pray for a double portion of that spirit of Elijah. The one that he left for Elisha. We, we hope season one is going to leave a double portion to season two. What do you think, Yami? yeah i do believe that um we, we will be blessed more and i want I, I think one of the things that we really want to normalize is preaching the gospel it doesn't necessarily have you to become a theologian and a pastor or you know those things we those misconceptions especially in africa when you start reading your bible a pastor happy you know yeah you know, that wow. thing, i think it should every way this way you gotta be there and we want to normalize that as much as god has done for us you know uh, I think I think I think to maybe to wrap up maybe from my end the best takeaway yeah. goes with with the story that has been told of a man who was eating his mango and his mango was so nice it was so nice his mango was good and he wanted to share how sweet this mango was to everyone and the word mango has has two words inside it has mango yeah. so we're being told that man go and we share the sweetness of jesus christ and we yeah. share it to the world and we yeah. we invite people to the sweetness that we found because yeah. between me and you i don't know i don't know about you man but the, at the time i never really like really really knew jesus and the time that i started knowing him it was sweet for me so yeah it was so it was something else so i just want to tell people africans it's you're not supposed to be a pastor to do the ministry yeah of course. You know, yeah. we each and every single us of us we have been given this mandate. And if you're about to forget, remember, man go. <laughs> I think you're muted. Trying to say like uh, actually there's uh, there's this uh, song concerning what you've said, like you, the when you came to know Jesus, you had this more love, you know. There's this song that uh, goes like this, says, uh, The more that I love him, the sweeter he grows. The more that I serve him, more love he bestows. Each day is like heaven, my heart overflows 
the longer I save him, the sweeter he grows. Hey, hey. <laughs> and and I always remember this, and it's 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 just it's just really great. So what we can say is uh concerning the question that we have and more answers will be coming from different countries. What we can say is there's nothing better than serving the Lord. And if you are with Christ, if you are with Jesus, you really have this love that is going to put in your heart and you'll bestow more love upon your heart so that it overflows. So no wonder we are here. We are not here simply because it's a job, we get paid or something like that. Because we love you and we love our Lord and we are here so that we can come together, we talk about these things and uh, we just have a wonderful time as we wait for the soon coming uh, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So Jesus Life Africa is there to share the love of God with you. And so that you also you might share the love of God with, with others. So this segment of season one, it was really nice. And we hope for the best and we pray for the best in our season two, a double portion of season one. So this is our takeaway. Hope you love the, the review uh, and you enjoyed what we talked about. If you missed any of these episodes, please uh, just feel free, go to Jesus Life, like the page, follow us so that you follow other, pe- uh, other programs. But also for the previous programs, you can go and check them out and be inspired and be blessed from the talks and the testimonies from our brothers and sisters who were with us. So me as your host, these are my last words that you know that the, the more you serve him, the more love he bestows, the more you love him, the sweeter he grows. Yami, Take your last point. My last point is, it's, it's, it's sweet. Mango, let's go and spread the word. Yeah. Let's go and spread the word. Um, social media has given us a platform to share. Yeah. And um, as young individuals, God says we should spread our youth. Let's spread yeah. it right in the right way. Let's go out there and push the word. So yeah. as we as we as we close, um, happy. Let's do the let's do the let's do the Jesus life motto one more last time for season one. Season one. So where you season are, you can one. do it with us. Do it with us. This is do great. It. Do it with us. It means a lot, and it's really powerful. You can do it, and uh, maybe next time we should try. I don't know if TikTok. I can try to get to TikTok or something. We should put a Jesus life challenge. All right, so that people might show us which one they like. Is it prayer warrior? Is it ambassadors of love? Or if it's everything, so they can just say it, prayer warrior. Or if it's everything, like we just think about it in that way. We'll think about it. Season two is coming and it is coming on a different note. Hope to see you too in season two. So let's go with our, our thing. So, Yami, we'll do this today. You mentioned mm-hmm. one, I get the next. We've okay. got four. So you mention one, then I'm next. Prayer then warrior. you do that, and I do the last one. All right. Okay. Prayer warrior. Ambassadors of love. Fearless leaders. Strong, powerful missionaries. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's get one more picture. Let's get one more picture one for the last time. Am I covered? Yeah, I'm taking it. I, no, yes. I'm, am I covered? Oh, you were, no, you, you, it's sure, but then let's do it again then. No, I mean, I, I need to show. I need to show. Uh-huh. Okay, let's do it again. Awesome. All right, sorry. Right. I think we do one. It's, it's up oh, yeah, to sure, you. Yeah, you just one. You need to do one. It's you doing it that way. <laughs> yeah awesome all right, that's all right happy. thank you so much man thank you so much i I've, I've been honored to to be to be the co-host for africa season one and uh, we call it for season two and if if you're wondering what's going to happen tomorrow um tomorrow is the fight is season finale for everything you know it's going to yeah. be lit and so many things and it's going to be fine so 
make a date with us and make sure that you join where every single person is going to be there. Like we're going to be there, the whole team of Jesus Life. And I want to say thank you to the thousand subscribers that we received. This ministry yeah. just started a month ago, but we've been blessed. And we just want to say thank you for every support that we've received from each and every single individual and the prayers that people have been praying for us. Keep on praying and be blessed and also share, continuously share the love of Jesus because Jesus' life means life. Jesus is alive yeah. in, in this day and age. And and, and, and and more followers, more likes doesn't mean money. Like, yeah, these people getting more money. The more people like, the more people comment, the more people share, meaning more hearts are being touched by the love of God. And this is why Jesus died is there is to touch people with the love of god so that when we get to heaven one day we shall all celebrate imagine yamikan someone comes to you and says yamikan i'm saved because of you then you'll be like what are you talking about he said no 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 just one segment of jesus life africa just one segment of jesus life really inspired me and this is what we want we want as the lord desires because uh, one writer said uh, when it says thy kingdom come it means the desires of heaven should be also our desire so our desire is that, as the Lord says, that no one should perish, but that they may come to repentance and have it everlasting life. Mm. That is the desire of God. And that is our desire that no one perishes, but all might obtain everlasting life so that we might meet on that glassy sea with our Lord and, and Savior. So what I can say is always remember, Jesus' life, we are ambassadors of love, prayer warriors, fearless leaders, and strong missionaries. God bless you and see you in the next segment of Jesus Life. Jesus Life. Bye-bye.